Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the last episode, we recruited and then killed Erasmus. Poor old Erasmus. But then, we re-recruited him. He's down here as a grave robber. Ah, now. If you recall, the problem with our low-level people is that we do not have any healers of any sort down there. Okay? At all. Our only healers are level 3 or above. Which is a problem of great proportions. I suppose uh, arbalists do have a battlefield bandage, which can snowball. So it's possibly theoretical we could use a, an arbalist as a healer. But not for the options that we're looking at, which is to beat these bosses. The Sonorous Prophet, which is the one that killed Erasmus, and the Sodden Crew. So... We're not going to be able to do those bosses until something turns up in the stagecoach, thus, that can do better healing than uh, an arbalist. So we're just going to keep doing stuff until that comes to pass. We need everything. We have none of anything worth speaking of, and everything that we want to do is becoming ever more expensive. So, I think what we probably do is we either do just a high level mission to make our high level players have something to do which gives us an option of kill the swine king which is a new boss there's a champion mission I expect we probably want to level these units up to at least the level of the mission before we attempt doing something like that uh, a long apprentice one, there's a medium veteran mission to take stuff and apply stuff I believe Gather, gather three medicines, so that would actually take up three inventory spaces, which is kind of contrary to the opportunities that we are looking for, which is to gain uh, money and ujits. There is a long veteran mission, which is just an exploration mission, which would give us a Hellion trinket. Four crit... Oh, it's a dark one. Do we already have one of those? I think we may already have one of those. Sort by class restriction. It's already sorted by class restriction. I thought we already had one, but um, oh, we have a uh, heaven's hairpin, which is above seventy-five. That's probably pretty good, especially with the accuracy. We should definitely take that in future. Uh, or we could do gather three medicines, long apprentice. Yeah, we don't have too many options, but I don't think I want to go for a boss just yet. So let's try this medium veteran mission. Lock of Fury for the Abomination. More damage, more speed, less HP. That's pretty good. Um, our Abomination, Viz, has not really had much opportunity to do anything for a while. Uh, well, maybe we'll bring a level 2 party out in the next episode, but we have our healer and, of course, Martinez here are in for treatment. So that's... Oh, it's not, not a healer, our tank. But again, nobody down here has any strong healing abilities, so we really, really need to get something like a level 0 Vestal, or hopefully a level 1 Vestal, because don't forget we did upgrade the stagecoach. But we're going to do a level 3 mission. I think level 4 people will do a level 3 mission, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to take... Ah, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to take a level 2... Uh, a level 3 party on a level 3 mission, but not uh, with Ellie in it. Because it's a medium mission and it does involve gathering stuff. So basically it's not going to be a mission where we collect a lot of money and stuff. Ellie's presence will just cause us to fill up our, uh, our inventory a little bit faster than I'd like. So I think we take Pete. Pete does work slightly better from the back. I'm thinking maybe we replace Sacrificial Stab with one of these other things that he can use from the back position, meaning that he doesn't have to worry about where he gets put. We're not going to be taking any units that move around. Let's see how much this costs. Uh, well, Bagel's also an option. But, uh, I was thinking of taking Pete, so we'll take Pete. Uh, Abyssal Artillery, or Weakening Curse, is less damage, and we'll also have the less dodge. But I think being able to do damage ourselves is a little bit more valuable than being able to debuff them more. So we'll take Pete for the healing. I'm thinking of actually taking Doug or Tim rather than Psycho 
as the front unit. But that doesn't mean we can't take Psycho, because he is perfectly good in the first two positions. And I think that might actually be worth doing, because I just really like taking Hellions, because they can hit the back unit with such great alacrity. Plus we have that uh, trinket that we can use. And then I think maybe Holmesy or Penelope Puddles. Or Snowland, perhaps. Definitely a third position unit. It's got uh, it's got its own mark and debuff thingy. And also it can do this one where it hits everything, which I, I really do like. So we will put some trinkets on. We'll take this one, which I really like. What is this, though? 30% bleed skill chance. Have you got... You have got if it bleeds. Not bleed out, but that's okay. Oh, you don't even have it unlocked, and we can't afford it, really, so... I think we'll take... Wait, what? How long have we had that? That might be really good, actually. But I think we'll go for the bleed skill. We want to be able to uh, kill things. Where possible. Psycho. You will probably take... The less stress damage. Where are we going, by the way? We're going to the... Sorry, what? Wield. Okay. Well, that really confused me. I forgot how to read a map. In that case, we're probably going to want some Blight Resist. That seems like a good one for you to... Ah, oh, no, you need to give... We definitely need to give that to Pete here. So we'll do the usual Occultist thing. What's this? Plus one crit? That's okay. But we will take this one. And hopefully we won't have to do any maths to figure out whether it's bloody well working or not. In this episode, uh, and then oh, we'll come back to you. We could give you the protection charm, I suppose. Uh, wherever the hell it is. Did I bring them all back? Doesn't matter. Everything I, I want is available, and there should be a Houndmaster trinket or two. Uh, less debuff resist may not be the best. Torch below 51. I'm not going to do that one. We'll definitely take this trinket. And, uh, yes. You have a bleed skill that hits everybody, so I'm happy with that little provision. I should remember to use these as well. I always take three shovels because I'm a coward. Uh, we'll take extra there. We'll take... I, can't, I tend to over-provision on torches. This is a medium mission, so I'll take a stack and a half. But I always find them as curios when I don't want to. And <laughs> I never find them when I need more, which is uh, a problem. Yeah, I'll take two of those. Maybe some anti-venom? I'll take one of each of these. Uh, I'm hoping that Pete here will be able to keep up with any uh, really bad damage that happens, but I'm kind of expecting to meet some enemies that are a lot basically tougher than I anticipated. For example, in the cove when we had that crab monster thingy that gave us eight damage per round for three rounds in a bleed. Our land is remote and unneighbored. Every lost resource must be recovered. So I would like to at least have the opportunity to get rid of a really, really strong blight or bleed. Well performed. Uh, hello. Chirurgeon's satchel, a doctor's toolkit. Sure. Well ah, that's what we're looking for. I'm very glad I came in this direction. Oh, hello. You're surprised? I'm surprised, but my party is not, so that's what counts. kind of don't need you to do anything. You've got, you have got a lot of dodge, actually, so let's m remove that. Uh, dog versus dog. And that marks as well, so that's basically dead. That was a very good round. Well, turn, attack. You know what I'm saying. No dodgy, you dodged. This accuracy is really good, but... <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't, um... Doesn't make up for the dodge of that dog, basically. I think stunning that dog was definitely the correct thing to do in that situation, though. Wow. For goodness sake. That's a huge amount of dodge on that. No rabies. Okay, good. We do have a bleed, but uh, you can deal with it. Please do not dodge the hex. We resisted the debuff. But the mark may help. Or just we'll kill it. That's fine. I'm happy with that. This is a lot of gold. Why are we getting so much gold? Not that I'm complaining, but we will be filling up our inventory. A bit faster than I expected to. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think what we do here is we stack up bleed on everything if we can. 80% actually, maybe we don't. Alright, that, that is, that's the, okay. I nearly did the right thing by accident, so I guess you've seen how these episodes work. Accidentally doing the right thing is uh, the way it works. What's your dodge like? 999, nine, nine. I mean, we could try and pull this one closer to get that one. Maybe it doesn't do so well in the front position, I don't know, I'm just clutching at straws to some extent. Smite it. That did work. And we dodged that, so I'm happy with that. Oh, but it brings that back. Okie dokie then. Basically, we need to kill the shit out of that thing. I'll just hack it. Yeah, a decent amount of damage as well. A crit! Wayne was very excited, and so was I. Is it a beast? It's Eldritch. I mean... We targeted it on purpose, but we need to get rid of these two because they could bring one back is the issue I'm thinking here. If this, if this hits... <sighs> Tim. Expected better. Let's uh, de-dodge de this and marks it for Snowland there, which... Well, we didn't get the debuff resist. Uh, it resisted the debuff, so... That was a, a bit of stress, but that's okay. Please... Oh, <laughs> why? This is going around in circles. Back off. This may be one of those ones where you have to keep them all close to death. And then you just beat the shit out of them all in one go. Rather than letting any of them die, that would cause them to, um, to recover, basically. Uh, I think you heal yourself in this situation, just to make sure that you're not dead when we do need you to heal somebody else. These crits are outrageous as well. I'm not too happy. So we'll, we'll bring this close to death. I mean, maybe the Hound's Harry can do enough physical damage to everything. Let's have a look. One to one. And they have very high bleed resist. So that's probably not the thing we want to do. Four to six here. That was the high end of the roll, but... Oh, it did bleed as well, so that's really nice. This brings up another one of those, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so you heal you. For a bit more than that, if you don't mind. That's okay. You... Try not to kill... The trouble is I don't want to kill that. So I guess we try and stun these two on the off chance that it works. That one did resist, but it has a very high stun resist. It was worth a try because I don't want to do any actual damage to this that will immediately kill it. This is a lot harder than it has been in the past. Um, because I think this is the next level of these units, basically. Uh, which... Everyone's... Everyone has a go still. I think this, because this is the next level of all these units, they're doing things that in an earlier version of them, they just simply weren't doing. Can you hit more than four? It would be a <laughs> brilliant roll if you don't mind. But as long as I don't kill any of them at once. Right. Uh oh. <laughs> now I have to kill those both at the same time. And this is gonna... It was stunned. Right, so let's hope for the best here. This should die. Oh, it's not gonna die. Don't fucking spawn anything with this bullshit. It didn't. That's fine. Yes, it didn't. So we can just do what we want right now. Uh, we might as well do this then, because that will die when it takes its go. So if we can get a heal off... Yes, we can. Uh, I suppose we heal... Wow, these are <laughs> really low. You're actually the... You're most likely to die from a single hit, but you're actually most likely to take that single hit. And also die. That was a really good heal. You die. That was, um... I think we handled that correctly, having figured it out a bit too late. If that makes sense, which it does, because... Uh, I, I say so. Insight. We have got Wheeled Adventure, which is really good, because we are, in fact, in the Wheeled right now. 
uh, which I believe just gives us a scouting chance. Less stress damage and more scouting chance and less stress damage from this thing means that this Hellion here is probably going home ready to re-embark immediately, which is very helpful. I have had feedback, by the way, that suggests that the stress damage you take... Did you see that? <laughs> it, these popped up and then suddenly we dodged a trap. Uh, the stress damage you take from backtracking is actually stress damage taken from literally walking backwards in a corridor. Not from going back over corridors you've already visited. Which does make a certain amount of sense. But you tend to take stress damage anyway just because you take stress damage whilst walking. Just from walking around. You can take stress damage from all sorts of walking around. So we're going to heal Psycho here for an amazing heal. No bleed as expected. Uh, because we have the opportunity to, which is very valuable. And you dodged what could have been a stress attack. Um, you can hound Harry, but I don't think it's valuable because these are beasts, if I understand. So we've got a strong chance of basically killing one. Or not hitting one at all, which is also an option. But we're dodging back, so... You know, swings and roundabouts. Is that what that means? Swings and roundabouts? An eye for an eye? Something like that. Please, please leave comments su uh, suggesting idiomata that I can use to express the concept of... I guess it all works out in the end. So we're going to probably heal ourselves. For 17. These are the roles we're looking for. So Pete's actually making up for being Pete. Uh, just for now. That's not great, but we'll live with it. Because in previous episodes, when Pete has done what Pete do, it's turned out extremely badly indeed. Oh, oh, there you go. They can be beaten. They can be beaten. Previously, Pete's uh, insistence on being Pete has caused us to take way more damage than we'd like to because his healing has been very, very below par, even with you know such a huge likelihood of um, right, quest locations. So that's not a quest location. We don't have to go to it. So we don't have to use our obstacle, which in turn means we don't have to use a shovel, which in turn means we can use the shovel in future when we need to. Right. One of you has got a shitload of trap design, and it's you. Yes. That should be some stress relief as well, which is really nice, because you did take some hits from those, uh, from those maggots, which are actually kind of pesky, because they're not strong enemies, but at the same time, they're a massive pain in the ass. What do we do here? What would you do here? I don't want to get rid of the stuff that will help us survive. But I also don't want to use the torches. I'm going to get rid of the holy water. I don't think it actually is that valuable in the wield. And we only have it because we brought a crusader along. So we came for free anyway. Uh, also, <laughs> we need this. So... Shit. Obviously we can't take this because they don't stack. That is correct. Could staunch the flow. We'll get rid of that. It's not actually capture. worth that much. And we are here to fill our inventory, which is a shame, but... What can you do? Honestly, if we keep scouting like this, we may have some opportunity to skip a lot of this dungeon. Which would be extremely valuable. Because it would... Uh, we don't... We don't get any benefit from bringing the firewood home. So, if we know when we're about to end having found the third med kit, we can use our firewood, de-stress ourselves, go and get the med kit, use that inventory slot for it and keep everything else that we've got. It's not there, but you get the idea. Uh, that's often enough traps that I'm not interested in it at this stage. If we could have a scout now, that'd be sweet. Yeah, sweet. Well, I said it would be sweet, and then I said, yeah, sweet, when it happens, so. Curio, curio, curio. It could be here still. But hopefully we'll get a scout from that room, so we will move on. Of course, you give me a torch, just as I'm... Finding the stuff is oh, we're, okay. The first test. we're okay, we've got a stack oh, and a gap. Home. So we can start collecting stuff, keeping oh, hold of it. That's very nice. To be spent. I mean, 50 gold is not amazing. 
Surprise, excellent. Right, you are going to yout them. I know it debuffs us, but it gives us such a chance of stunning both of those. Now we can wail away on them and not worry too much about them spawning one of those huge dudes. Because that was a horrible situation to find ourselves in. Uh, probably... What's your bleed? 80%. Just hounds rush one. And then you'll have your stuns so we get another go on the next turn. Zero! Perfect. Thanks, Pete. Thanks for playing. I believe there is a level of word reconstruction that starts at one, but that may have been... Ooh, not so great. That may have been in the uh, early alpha build before release. And they may have just decided that they will all start from zero and just get higher upper levels. Which I can understand. Uh, it's a pretty interesting mechanic that you have a huge range of healing. Plus all the buffs that you get to it. There's a treasure over there. And it could be up here. I think we do this one. I'm, I'm up for another battle. We've done pretty well so far. Uh, what did I press? Oh, you press Q and E. You select different people. So maybe I've been pressing 5 before by accident and selecting that. Ah, I've just remembered that I was going to... The path is clear. Shush, Wayne. We I'm speaking. Only the strength to um, it. I was going to unlock people's... Oh, that's not what I want. I want this one. Camping skills. Of course, we haven't really been able to do so because we haven't had any money. But I do need to remember to do that when we get to a position where we have the money to do so. Makes sense. Well, that was a lot of words. So we'll just uh, try and get rid of this. It's high dodge. So our hit chance is only 84%, which is good enough. <laughs> but we didn't kill it, which is actually not great. Our hit chance is 74%. Human, human, human. Does anybody have hu human hater? Just interested. Eh. Beast hater? Didn't realise that. That's pretty good. Um, you're not doing much damage, so I'm not going to check you. We could just house Harry and try and put some bleed on everything. Or just miss everything. That's also an option. Uh, you are going to do this. Probably should have tried to heal Snowlin. Uh, I didn't, so... Whatever, I guess. What's your damage? 5 to 10. So if we hit it... 1 in 5 chance of missing, essentially. But it did die. Which is exactly what we wanted. We didn't want the stress from that. That doesn't seem great. That The name of that sound a bit... Uh, yeah, a bit not not brilliant. 24! He did resist the move back, but hopefully Pete starts rolling big now. On the heels, I mean. The marks... The uh, debuff's pretty good. Stress attack? Uh, deal some... Uh... I want to make sure the light's up, because these... Uh, tr if I don't keep on top of it, these trinkets are going to start being the opposite of what I want them to be. Now, do we try and kill this, which we can't do without a crit, but we try and kill this, which is going to hurt like shit. Or do we try and stun something? What's your stun resist? 70%. Uh, I think we keep Iron Swanning. The reason we brought the Hellion is because Iron Swan is amazing. You're going to be straight on death's door if you don't dodge that. Good lord, mate. When, the, when does Pete get a go, by the way? Thank you. You better crit the shit out of this. 20 is really, really good. I know you didn't crit, but I'm not salty that, that you didn't. That knockback was a massive pain in the ass, turns out. That's fine. Don't forget we're going to camp. So whenever we, whenever we feel overstressed, we will camp. You keep getting smacked down, so another uh, very high roll is great there. Yep, do that again. Get the end of that, and then we'll uh, focus our attacks on this Joker. We can't actually... We can stun it. We can try to. What's your stun chance? 119. So it does make up for some of the 70%, which I would put about 50%, so you might as well go for it. It's, uh, I think it's worth a try, because if we do succeed in that, we get a free go, essentially. So now we should start pounds rushing the shit out of it. It has this uh, negative prot as well. Not, I don't think it had any prot in the first place, to be fair, now I think about it, but it now has less, so there's that. Really good damage on that. Although it does have a lot of damage. It's basically a mini-boss, to be fair. Uh, now we weird reconstruct Snowlin, who deserves it after those attacks. Still no... Uh... Heck with it. 
Uh, still no accidental bleeds from the heals, which is brilliant. 11 damage. This thing's going down quickly now that we've actually started focusing it, and that 4 damage is a pretty, um, pretty valuable number. That's, that's, that's kind of bad. I mean, I guess Pete can probably do some decent stuff from here. Also, that, um, that corpse disappearing may be extremely valuable. You can't do anything except move, so you shall move, and Snowland's already been, so... Uh, it doesn't matter that he ends up at the back there. You've got 6 damage per round, and you've got 10 damage left, so... Even if this doesn't make it, which it did, it would be dead anyway, which would be great. Okie dokie, well... I guess we just eat some of this food. Again with the moving around, I don't... I mean, I... Whatever. Uh... A thousand gold, or a potential fifteen hundred. I mean, we're gonna make space in our inventory at some point anyway, for more gold. So I won't open this yet. In fact, we should maybe camp here. You've got a lot of stress. You should be at the back. You should be at the front. We don't have far to go. One, two, three. There's only four rooms. One of which certainly doesn't have a thing in it. So if we camp here, we'll make some space in our inventory for this, or for the third one of these, whichever we deemed to be most valuable. We still have four food left in case we get a hunger pang. Everyone is at full HP as a result of that. So now, I think this is usually very valuable. Even though the ambush can be fairly tame, I, th I think it's just worth not having to worry about it. So we'll do that for shizzle. This is actually really good, but I was kind of hoping someone had some stress relief, except for you, because you can't pep talk yourself. I guess we might have to just accept that Pete's going in for some therapy. Okay then. Everyone will reduce stress by 15. As well as you, and we'll have less stress damage. Ah, that's probably worth doing. You didn't have any stress at all, because, well done. Just in general. I think we'll spend three on making our Hellion even better. More accuracy, more damage, or more crit. I think more accuracy and more damage is going to be really good here because there are things that keep debuffing her to, re well, reduce accuracy. Uh, that's not one. But stop talking, we need to sleep. The match is struck. Right, let's have a look in here. Uh, you can do it. Uh, that's what I was expecting. Good job, Pete. You were the scapegoat for the possibility of a trap there. And you went into it without complaint. You took one for the team, best foot forward, and it worked out for the best. Let is harry everything. Bit of damage, bleed on everything, it's really good. So these things will slowly be whittling themselves over time, even if we're not doing any damage to them. Although they are going first. Maybe they have much higher speed than us. That would make sense. They are... Uh, they are the type. I think we've debuffed our speed in general, to be fair. Right, let's get rid of this thing. That should be enough. Three and two. Okay, well, not quite enough, but okay. And we'll spread out more damage. Since we've got a good spread of damage anyway, seems sensible to continue to spread out the damage. We don't need to do a heal. But I can't stop this one from attacking. But I might be able to make... I might be able to force it to do... An awkward attack. That wasn't what I wanted to happen. I wanted it to be actually at the front, but we did enough damage to kill it. Which I suppose is pretty good, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure if you move these far enough back, they start doing stumbling type stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean... Sure. I assume the bleeds will happen, yeah. Four damage is not insignificant. Ow, crit at the front there is pretty bad. But, um... Ah, that's fine. We'll Wicked Hack. I mean, we could if it bleeds this one, to be fair. I will kill it. Sure. Seems like a good idea. These ones are actually closer to death already, and a Zealous Accusation, if it doesn't finish them off, will essentially finish them off. Uh, which means you might as well heal you. Why hell not, right? In fact, that didn't actually heal you all the way, so it was probably worth it. Uh, excuse me? I have plenty of room, and you're wrong. Get rid of this, don't care. Taking as much stuff as I can, even though obviously I need inventory space for these. How far have you got? I'm suggesting maybe we don't 
you use a shovel, but specifically, I don't want to dig the grave because it's going to give us a great bounty of items. I'm not really down with that. There's a quest location there. So we only need to get rid of one stack now. There is no combat on the way, which is cool. I'm happy. But maybe we can keep going after we've found the, um, after we've taken the last item here. So we'll try and figure out what to do with our inventory, which is probably going to be to get rid of these. Take this. Quest complete. We'll continue adventuring. And then we can decide what to get rid of as we look for things that we want to take home. Go in here. Thank you. We've got plenty of gold. That's actually a really good haul of gold. Oh, hello. An obstacle. Yeah. I mean, we might as well. Uh, don't touch that. <laughs> Whatever you do. I'm hoping to just find a treasure chest or something. Anything, really. Or even better, we could have perfectly timed the number of uh, torches that we needed such that we end up with no torches left when we get to here. Well, there's a curio. Which was the one that had the curio in it? Uh, it's not going to tell me places I've been. We might as well. We can get some more uh, stress heal from Tim here, uh, from Snowlin here, by disarming that trap. We can use our torches to great effect, because if we light these places up on the way back, we don't really need the torches, right? Uh, we'll take the gold. Don't really want that, because I already discarded those. We'll go in here, we'll turn around, we'll do a bit of a wander. Might go and dig up that, um, that grave, right? That seems like a good idea. I mean, we have a whole class of people dedicated to the concept of digging up that grave, so we might as well do so. We'll use our final torch. Uh, no, I did want the map, thank you. We are going to go here. Is that the grave? I forget. No, that's the one we never want to touch ever again. But I'm also thinking we should... Uh... Yeah, we're getting a lot more stress walking back in this direction than I've seen so far. So, I suspect there's a small amount of stress damage just from wandering around places we've already been. But there's definitely a lot of stress if we go back. So we might as well go this way, see what this curio is. Undo the stress damage that you just gained from walking back there in the first place. There's a torch here, which we can immediately burn. In radiance, may we find victory. And then we'll just wander around a little bit. I know it may be a bit boring to watch, and I apologise for this. But at the same time, I don't want to go all the way over there, by the way. I understand that's an option. Not going to do it. I stay here far too far. I can't be bothered. Perfect. Now we've got two slots. One of these has a... Oh, that was the trapped one. Where's the hex? There it is. This will be the grave, which means we use our shovel to do the grave, which will give us three slots, and hopefully it contains a significant amount of stuff. It contained deeds, which I think is absolutely worth the amount of time we spent uh, on the <laughs> on the wandering around like lost sheep. So that's a decent amount of gold, eight thousand. That's almost as much as we had before we even left. Did you just level up? I think so. That's pretty good. Dark temptation. That would have caused us to investigate that thing. I didn't want anyone to investigate this. I think that's actually a lot better than Mrs. The Spot, because I think Mrs. The Spot was an accuracy debuff, which I hadn't considered until just now. It's pretty bad on a Hellion, who already has fairly poor, um, fairly poor accuracy in the first place. Yeah, Psycho is now up here, so we've got more level 4 people. Martinez is now at uh, basically zero stress, I expect. Yep, yeah. as is Mr. Steve. He's got a little bit. That's okay. Psycho leveled up. And we got a bunch of stuff, we're now at 16,000 gold, so we should maybe look into uh, upgrading... No, it just reduces the cost. We should maybe look into upgrading and unlocking more people's survival skills, but we'll do that when we're thinking of taking another medium or long mission. Uh, which may be next episode, why don't we spend a little bit of time looking. We've got basically, a, we have literally got a boss in every place. There's a hag, now that we've got to a level 4 wield. There's the Swine King, which is a level 3 Warren's boss. There is the level 1 Apprentice, uh, the Apprentice level Sonorous Prophet, and the Sodden Crew bosses, which I can't do until we have a healer. Let's see if we've won a healer. 
We have not. We have one spot in our roster. It has to go to a healer. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to upgrade any of these people. So it, I guess it's kind of good that these rotate out every time. And there's our first level one showing up uh, in the stagecoach, which is also quite nice. So if we're lucky, we'll get a level one Vestal at some point on our stagecoach. But until that happens, any actual progress on these level people is basically going to be ground to a halt, which is a shame because it's quite valuable. Um, this is really bad and needs to go away. <laughs> I know this unit is not actually a, a fighting unit, but this needs to not happen. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we may take them out to level up for a, a bounty mission, but they're not going out on any boss missions or anything that's going to be particularly difficult, so it's always going to be short missions with this lot. Well, I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, let's have a look at our graveyard. Here's the poor people that have been killed. For once, someone was killed by me, rather than... Ah, twice then. Twice people have been killed by me. Twice they've been killed by James being the devil on my shoulder. So, until the next episode, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate all the uh, good comments and good feedback I have been getting. If you did enjoy it, um, at this early stage of the channel, I would very much appreciate it if you could spend some time to tell anybody else you may think would be interested. Share it around on the Twitters, on the Facebooks, on the Googles, um, anywhere you want to. I would also very much appreciate that. Get some word out, get people watching. But until next time, thank you for watching, and thank you for coming to the next one. I will see you then.